Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be running you through my pretty much everyday night routine. Obviously this changes a lot. Sometimes I just get in and literally roll into bed. But tonight I had a little bit more time to kind of unwind and just actually enjoy my evening. So obviously the first thing I did was took my shoes off because I'm not gonna be walking around with my shoes on. And then I went straight into the kitchen to open the back door for Bentley so he can go out and do his business, have a run around. After I've done a few little tinkering bits, I will just sit down at my dining table and make myself a little to-do list just so that I don't get sidetracked because if I don't do this, I end up kind of forgetting what my aims were for the evening. I had to go food shopping, I needed to do laundry, read some of my books that I'm on target because I aim to read one book a month, whiten my teeth and that is the first thing that I started doing. I headed straight upstairs and took my White With Style kit up there with me. Today's video is actually sponsored by White With Style and this is a brand that I've absolutely loved and used for years now, absolutely years. I love this company so much because it's just a more personalised experience I suppose. The little gum shields that I just showed you actually mould to your own teeth which is a very different thing to what a lot of brands actually do. They come with these little cotton swabs as well that help get any of the whitening gel off your gums. As you can see here I reckon I'm about shade 4 on their little chart thing and you can tell for yourself the difference. I reckon after just one use I got shade 2. You can tell from the after clip later on in the video. But as for the teeth whitening gel, you just pop it into your little mouth trays that are actually custom mould to your mouth that you do at home so there's no waiting period. Literally amazing. You just drop them in hot water and then kind of they get a little bit more soft and mouldable and then you can mould it to your exact teeth shape and cut away any excess. It's literally incredible. I've never found a brand that does it like this. And this just helps kind of make sure the gel is hitting the right places. It stops it from going on your gums a little bit as well in my opinion and it just makes the whole experience a little bit more tailored and comfortable. Then I just pop the little gum shield thingies in with the little light, which obviously helps activate the whitening gel. And then you can leave it in for up to half an hour. While I'm doing that, I just, you know, go about my daily chores. I did the laundry, I did the cleaning that I needed to do. And that is why I decided to do this first because obviously I can just leave it in while I'm doing things around the house. And also, you can, you can thank me later, but this is a pretty big deal. You guys can use the code VICTORIA28 to get the whitening kit for only $28 as opposed to the normal retail price, which is $269.99. You can thank me later. I know, it's incredible. So after I'm done with the, you know, 30 minute period, I just pop the little thingy out and look how white my teeth look. They literally look like shade two, maybe even shade one, and that's just after one use. So after I've done that, I'm going to head straight upstairs and go and have a shower because honestly, my hair really needed washing. It was just making me kind of uncomfortable with how dirty it was. There was so much dry shampoo in there. Um, so I went straight into the bathroom and washed my hair. The shampoo and conditioner I used is the Bedhead one by TG. I don't know if there's like an exact name for it but I love that stuff. And then I decided to go dry my hair and style it and everything. I didn't film much of this because I honestly wanted to save you the pain because after I wash my hair, this is what I do to it. If you want a tutorial on how I do my hair, I can definitely do that, but it takes me hours from like the washing period to the final result, but it does last like a week, so it's not that bad. But after I'd done my hair, I decided to get my gym stuff on and take Bentley for a walk because honestly, I've been trying to walk for an hour a day. I've not been doing particularly well because the weather hasn't been that enjoyable. It's been quite rainy even though it's supposed to be spring. But I've been aiming to walk for an hour a day because I just, I need to start doing more exercise, I really do. So I went over the field with Bentley and you can see him here trying to figure out if he's actually coming with me. You can see his ears like twitching like, am I going? Am I not? <laughs> he's like, once he realises, look how happy he looks. Oh, so cute. So me and Bentley just head out the front door. Also, if you're interested in the wreath that's on my front door, that is from my own brand and will be linked in the description for you to check out if you'd like to. And then we just headed over to the field. As you can see, I'm wearing my huge jacket, my little Chuck. He says that it looks like a Baymax jacket. 
is that what it's called? I think that's what he calls it <laughs> from a film. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing because it was literally freezing and you can see how happy Bentley is. He literally does this the entire time we're out. And then once we were back, I just wanted to head straight upstairs and get into my pajamas and actually start to unwind. So I just went straight upstairs. I grabbed my cardigan and my night clothes and literally I was straight in them. I was straight in them. I wish I could live in pajamas. I wish that was acceptable because honestly, I would take that opportunity. I really would. Then I headed downstairs to start making myself dinner. I had actually already eaten prior to filming this, so I wasn't particularly hungry. So I just made myself what I would usually have for breakfast because I thought it would just be like a quick, healthy option that isn't too filling. So I just did myself some avocado on toast with a poached egg and a little bit of bacon and Bentley had his dinner too. So that is what I had for my dinner. I know it's not particularly a dinner food, but whatever, it's still food. It's really yummy as well. This is what I pretty much have every day for breakfast, but I had it for dinner today instead. And as you can see, even though Bentley had had his dinner, he was still eyeing up mine and trying to give me like the puppy dog eyes. Like, please mom, just give me the food. <laughs> After I'd made it, I went and sat at my dining table and this kind of becoming a bit of a ritual for me. I sit at my dining table and I watch Leo or Alexandra talk about law of attraction because it is something that I am very invested in and believe in and I spend a lot of my time doing and practicing. So I sat and watched her do some stuff and then Bentley decided to come over and give me some kisses, probably because there were chocolate biscuits on the table. Um, and then just did a little bit of Law of Attraction journaling again while I was watching Lior Alexandra. After I've done that, I kind of head upstairs and it really is time for bed now. Before I go to sleep, I just kind of like to alleviate myself from like day-to-day -day stresses. And write down what I plan to do, make myself a plan for the week and kind of fill in a few days. I have a lot to do all the time with how many businesses I'm running. So I have to make myself a bit of a plan. And then instead of going on my phone or watching something on my laptop, I have been trying to read. So obviously that doesn't like stimulate your brain particularly. So I've read a little bit of my book and that is it for my night routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon with a new video.